Hey guys, today I'm filming for you my June favorites. I am going to just jump right into it because I've got a ton of makeup products. I'm going to tell you that 90% of this is gonna be beauty products, so if that's not what you're interested in, sorry. That's what I like in the month of June. So the first thing I've been loving throughout this entire month is Argon Oil. I've never used it before. I know there's a huge hype around it on YouTube, but I've never tried it because I was just like, fuck Argon Oil. Like, who? Who came up with it? Why is it such a big thing right now? And I didn't even want to try it because I was just like, it's just, it's probably not even that good. It's probably just YouTubers getting paid to say that argan oil is good. However, I really like it. I have noticed a significant improvement in my skin since starting to use this. This is the Josie Marin Pure Argon Milk. This is just a sample, so this is not the full size bottle. It comes in this little dropper and for one, the packaging is preciously adorable. It is a mixture of 100% pure argon oil and purified water, I believe. And they like blend it all up, I imagine, to like make the two intermingle so that it's not like separation of oil and water. But it is so good. I'm not kidding you. I've used this every day on my skin for probably the last five, six days. And every day, I don't know if you can tell how good my skin looks right now. It's ridiculous. Like it makes my skin look like the most hydrated, plump, dewy, fresh faced skin that I could imagine. Like it's perfect, you guys. You should try this. Um, I got this free from Sephora for making an order, um, but this I think is like $56 for the big bottle of it. I know that's mad expensive, but. I've been trying moisturizers for a long time and I've not found one that I love nearly as much as this one. And like I said, I've only been using it for five days, but I already went and ordered the full size one because I know I love it. So this, and then for my hair, I've been using this one and only Argon Oil Spray Treatment. It is instant shine. It's just really like a shine spray and you just kind of mist it onto your hair and it gives super shine to your hair. You can't tell obviously because I have mad dark hair. It's really good. Like. It smells so good. And also for my hair, I've been using this o Organics, I think it's uh, OGX, Renewing Argan Oil of Morocco Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, for one, I don't know if it's the Argan Oil that smells good. It smells so good, you guys. Like, bomb. Oh, it smells so good. So I've been using these. One of the main reasons that I got these is because they are not tested on animals. And try finding a shampoo that's not tested on animals. It's almost impossible. This was like the only one I could find in the store, but I'm glad I picked it up. My hair has been super bouncy and mm. Keeping to the tone of hair, another hair product that I've tried this month that I really, really like, and I there was some hype about it for a while on YouTube and it kind of went away. It's this Big Sexy Hair Powder Play. Weird, it's the weirdest stuff. It like, you put it in your hair and it almost feels like you've taken firm hold hairspray and sprayed it in at your roots and like, it's like sticky, but I can't explain it. I can't explain it. What it does is you like sprinkle it, so it's a powder, you sprinkle it up in your hair and then you kind of go like this and shake your hair back and forth and that volume is like, Pow. I did not use it today because sometimes it can make your hair feel a little bit dirty. Like it does, it texturizes the shit out of your hair, but it can make it feel a tad dirty. So if you hate that feeling, this may not be for you. I like this on days where like I need that vol voluminous hairstyle. Today it's just all curl, um, but yeah, I really like that. I talked a minute ago about wanting to have good skin. Now this is my thing. If you have good skin, everything else looks good. If you have bad skin, everything else looks bad. And so I've been on the hunt for good skin makers. I wanna have the best foundation. I have like 25 foundations, you guys. I want, I want the best foundation. I want the best coverage. I want the most natural looking, where it looks like skin, but perfect. And to where it's that dewy, but glowy, but still not too much. And I think I finally maybe found that foundation and the winning combo for my skin. So I'm gonna tell you what that is. So to combat the dark redness around my nose and the red in the areas of my face that I don't like, I've been using a green concealer and I really realized this trick from watching Sam from Battle Ash Beauty and you should go check out her channel, she's lovely. I've talked about her in every single video and she's another favorite of mine so I'm gonna mention her a little bit later. Um, but it's just a green concealer and so basically green is, I believe, the opposite on the color wheel 
from red and so it neutralizes the red and you just sort of blend it in and even as you can see, it doesn't look like there's green on the back of my hand right now, but if there was a red splotch right there, like it would neutralize that. So I put it around my nose, I put it on my certain blemishes that I want to be less red, and it makes a huge difference, like a huge, huge, huge difference. And this is the Physician's Formula Green Concealer. I got this just from like Walgreens. You guys, if you've been watching my channel long enough, you know that I use the Revlon Colorstay Whipped Foundation. However, it's summer and it's too thick for me. It's just too, much it's just you know what i mean if you use it it's like thick as shit and so it's almost like putting butter all over your face because it's so thick you want sort of a lighter feeling but with a full coverage look to it the revlon color stay not the color stay whipped but the color stay is amazing i've been using it for the last five or six days in conjunction with the argon oil treatment for my face and my skin looks fucking amazing like I can't even explain to you how good it looks I'm not even like tooting my own horn here I was in the car yesterday after I did my makeup and I looked in the mirror and I was blown away at how good my skin looked that's why I went and ordered that argan oil because I was like I am never going without this if this is how good my skin looks it's evened out it's made my pores look smaller this looks like skin but dewy and perfect. I'm not setting anything with a powder anymore because no, why, it's summer. Everything should be dewy and glowy. This is so good, you guys. Like, I love it. This is gonna be my Holy Grail foundation, I'm assuming. And I got it a couple shades darker than my skin tone, which I really actually like it because when I do my natural skin tone, it's so fair that it makes me look almost ghostly pale. This is the color Sand Beige 180, and I really like this color a lot. Like, I feel like it's perfect for my skin tone. I feel like I've been wearing too light a foundation for a long time, so I love this. To bronze up my face a bit, I have been using the Essence Sun Club. This is a bronzer that's still, it's fairly light, but gives just the perfect amount of bronziness to the face. Plus, it smells like a pina colada. I mean, it really does. It smells like a pina colada. It's amazing. Um, this is the color O2 Sunny, and you can see it's just kind of the perfect bronze for fair skin. So I really, really like that, and you guys, seriously, it smells so good. You guys know I love the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. This is the Milani Baked Blush in Dolce Pink. This is what I'm wearing today, so if you like the look of the blush I'm wearing, that's that. It is a perfect pink color. It's not too pink, it's not too peach, it's shimmery but not too shimmery. It is gorgeous. I can't show you, I will show you a little bit closer up in a minute. Gorgeous, you guys. It's so perfect and it gives the perfect amount of highlight to your cheeks while not just having highlight on your upper, this portion. Speaking of highlight, my favorite highlight that I got this last month and I am obsessed with it is MAC Soft and Gentle. Everyone's been talking about this for like the last 500 years, I feel, but it is just the perfect shimmery highlight. It's so hard to see, but you see how it just reflects the light in such a beautiful way? It's on my cheeks right now, and if you like the, the dewiness and highlightiness of my cheeks, because of Sam from Battle Ash, if you're watching this, Sam, you are like everything to me. You've taught me so fucking much about makeup, it's ridiculous. It's beautiful, you can see the color of it. So it's sort of skin colored with mad shimmery. Like it doesn't maybe look that shimmery here, but it's super, 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 super shimmery. I prefer this to the Mary Luminizer because it's more skin toned. Mary Luminizer is like almost a white champagne color and it's too stark looking on a lot of people. But I really do like this and I will mention it in a later video, but I learned it yesterday from Sam from Battle Ash. She talked about how she applies her highlight first, then her contour, then her blush, and holy shit, I did it yesterday and I did it today and I can't believe the difference it makes. You wouldn't think that just changing the steps from contour blush highlight to highlight contour blush would make that much of a difference, but it makes all the difference in the world because you put your highlight on first, then you contour over, then you blush over that and the highlight then looks subtle but real. It doesn't look like bronzer with blush and then a highlight strip on top of it, which can sometimes happen if you don't do it first. But if you do it first, it looks like your cheeks just have this natural internal glow that's radiating from them and a natural flush on top of that. You should really try it. I'm serious, it really works. Highlight first, 
you will be surprised. To apply all of this makeup to my face, I am loving a few brushes this month, and I bought the Rose Gold Zoeva brushes, and if you guys don't know, I mean, they're super hyped up online right now. Everyone and their mother is obviously probably being sent these brushes for free, which is why there's so many videos and hypes about them. And of course, I just, I really, honestly, I just thought they were really pretty. <laughs> That's really a, a dumb reason to buy brushes, but I actually really do like them, and I feel like my makeup application is more flawless when using them. They're very soft, and they're very easy to use, and I'm gonna highlight a few of my favorites. This is not all of the brushes, but these are my favorites that I've been using every single day. So the first brush that I've been using every single day to apply my bronzer is this one, and this is the 106 Powder Brush. It is a big, fluffy brush, and I use this just to kind of have that blown out contour. If you want that really stark line, you're gonna need to use something a little bit smaller and more precise. But if you want that sort of blown out, um, natural bronzy look, this is a really good brush for that. And for my blush, I have been using the Lux Sheer Cheek Brush, the 127. It's also, it's also from Zoeva, and as you can tell, like it's super blushy, but I, I end up pressing my blush into my cheeks. Instead of swiping it on, it makes just such a big difference in the application. It makes it look more even and natural versus like swiped. Like you should try it, pat it on instead of swiping. Three more Zoeva brushes that I really like. For my eyeshadow application, which if you guys would like to see high quality close-up pictures of my makeup and get lots of brand information and things like that, just go to my Instagram, at rawbeautychristy, and you guys can follow me on Instagram and see all these makeup looks that I'm posting if you guys care to. If you don't, well then don't. This is the 227 Lux Soft Definer, and it is a, what I believe is a natural hairbrush, but it just blends out everything so seamlessly. Like, it looks perfect because of this brush. Like. I really do love this, and you can see I used it today on this color that I'm wearing, but it's just a lovely brush. But if you want a little bit more detail in your eye look, then I would go with the Lux Petite Crease 231 from Zoeva. This one is a little bit more pointed. This one's fluffy, and this one's pointed, and it really makes a difference on how, I like to use this one in the crease. If you press it in gently and use a light hand, it just smokes it out in the perfect way, but not as blown out as this brush. You get what I'm trying to say? I don't know if you do. This brush is really good. This is the winged liner brush, the 317 from Zoeva, and I have not been using it for winged liner. However, I have been using it for my brows, and I've been using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. I did finally go buy the full size version of this because it's so good and I know I'm gonna love it and use it. When I first got it, it was a bit too soft for me. I left the lid off for like a day so that it would just dry out just a tad. And I love it so much more, a little bit more dried out. So if you have a problem with yours, like picking up way too much product or making your eyebrows look kind of chunky or not right, just let it dry out a tad. And it really works so much better. So I've been using this on my brows for probably the last couple of months. Um, but since using this brush, everything's just gotten that much better. The very, very last makeup products that I wanted to mention are these. Now I've been wearing false eyelashes every day almost because I've been doing a lot of makeup looks for Instagram, like I said, and false lashes just make everything look a million times better. And I've been using the Duo Eyelash Adhesive in Dark, and this is just a perfect eyelash adhesive in my opinion. I love it, it works for me, my eyelashes never fall off, they never flip up at the corners, it's just really awesome. As for eyeshadows, the Coastal Scents 252 palette. I've talked about this a lot of times. I'm not endorsed by them. I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. So if I make it sound like I am, it's just because I actually love them. You get 252 dime-sized eyeshadows. Now dime-sized, you might be like, that's bullshit. That's nothing. That's totally crappy. Not enough. Promise you it is. I've used the shit out of these and they are nowhere near being gone. There are a ton of different colors every color basically that you could ever imagine is in here. And I've worked today from this side, which is just the reds and the pinks and the new, the new, there's a lot of neutrals in here as well. Super good, super blendable, really pigmented. I love them. And instead of going and buying a thousand different palettes, if you want a lot of good colors that you can work with, Go pick this up, guys. It's like 25 bucks. I can't remember when I bought it, at least it was. I don't know now. But they have a ton of different eyeshadows now. They have different palettes that are just like the Naked uh, 1 and Naked 2 palettes. I think they're called Coastal Sense Revealed palettes. 
But if you want like lots of fun colors, go get this one. And the last two beauty favorites that I have this month are perfumes. The first is a lovely perfume that I didn't know if I would love because of the hype on YouTube. However, I really, really, really like it. This is the Marc Jacobs Honey Perfume. Really, really good, you guys. I think this was only like 20 bucks for this, which, I mean, it's still really expensive, but whatever. Um, and the packaging is precious. It's got like these little yellow polka dots on it. This is the Clean Rollerball Collection, and I got you get five little mini rollerballs, and they smell... Okay, so I'll name you the different types that are in here. The Clean Warm Cotton, Clean Fresh Laundry, Shower Fresh Skin, and Rain. And they smell... The Warm Cotton... It smells like fresh laundry. This one is called fresh laundry. The first one, warm cotton, smells more like laundry to me. This one does smell like laundry soap. It sounds gross, like I'm making these smell, like I'm making these seem like they smell gross, but it's such a fresh, that's why they're called clean. They make you smell really clean. This one's called shower fresh. They smell exactly like what you would picture them smelling like. That one does smell like you straight up stepped out of the shower and you're clean. Almost manly, but not quite. This one's my favorite. It smells so good. It's called Clean Skin. It smells amazing, you guys. Like, it smells so good. I don't know what the hell is. it is, but it smells the best to me. And then this one is Clean Rain. Oh, and that one is just like fresh garden. I can't explain them, but if you guys like those really clean scents, I said clean like 500 fucking times. But if you like that fresh, clean scent, then you guys will really like these. I love them. That's like my style of perfume, or I just like things to smell really fresh and so clean, clean. This is also a product that I've been loving this month. I picked them up. I got them from MrKate.com and they are called Beauty Marks. So you guys may have seen these on my Instagram. I posted a picture of myself using them. Also, Mr. Kate, the Instagram, uh, reposted, like regrammed my photo of me wearing them, which I thought was so cool. And basically, they are little temporary tattoos that are gold, <laughs> it sounds so ugly, like I have to just show them to you. They are hard to see because they are shimmery gold, but as you can see, they're like little arrows. There's like circles and little cats and love and triangles. And then this one has just like little designs like arrows and these can go up as like a band on your arm. And I put these three on my finger. And as you can see, I used some of them today just so I could be able to show you. Now don't pay any attention to how grown out my nails are. Don't even look at that. But as you can see, it's like a shimmery gold leaf <laughs> like temporary tattoo and it's just so cute but i really like them i think they were like 12 dollars like including shipping they were mad cheap i'll put the link to them down in the description of this video but it's just mrkate.com and they're called beauty marks so sam from battle ash i mean 100 percent. you guys just are like you know i love her battle ash beauty go check her out on youtube you guys will love her please tell her that i sent you i just want her to know how much i love her and I think she already does probably because I talk about her in every single video and um, But she's awesome you guys she gives me more makeup tips She's helped me more with my makeup in the last couple of months than anybody else And I I cannot even tell you like my makeup skills have gotten a thousand times better since watching her videos My favorite song of the month has to be a song from Lana Del Rey. It's ride I cannot get enough of that song. I could listen to it from sun up to sundown I also really love cola and I love off to the races those are, I love those songs so much right now. Obviously, they're all Lana Del Damn Ray, but she's so good, you guys don't even know. And that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was probably mad long. I'm gonna try and edit the shit out of it to just keep it shorter, but I feel like it was just talking this entire video without any pauses, so. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to watch all the other videos that I mentioned, just click in the link. Look at the description. I always put lots of stuff in there. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And if you guys have any video requests, leave those as well. I thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you at my next video. Bye.